Can you say high maintenance? This is what I call a high maintenance landscape. We're here today in Clarkston, Michigan on a landscape project that requires a full renovation. The homeowner can't keep up with this anymore. Constant trimming, constant weeds, not enough color. There's lots of things, obstacles that we're going to overcome. And we're going to be doing a full renovation, keeping just two trees in the front. And our key components are low maintenance, adding to this curb appeal and value of the home, adding some color and some nice heights. Okay, here's our entrance sidewalk to the front entry of the home. And I have lots of goals that I want to accomplish in this landscape design and renovation. I want to add color. I want to open this walkway up so that you come through a new, colorful, inviting landscape. On this renovation, we want to keep the nicer plants and trees. But a lot of times, you'll have evasive species that ruin a tree or a bush. So I'm going to be removing this entire corner and we'll add a nice flowering tree there and clean this up and completely start over. Balance. One important factor in the design and renovation process is creating balance. On a front renovation, I want to have balance throughout. And this landscape is extremely heavy on one side, massive bed, uncontrollable, but yet you go to the other side it's very small fraction of what the other side is. So I'm going to create with the new design a balance throughout. And an, the next important factor is drawing attention to the front door. And we have way too much grass up in here, so I'm going to create a new bed that comes right sweeping through. As you walk down this path, it'll direct all attention to the front door. And from the curb appeal view, it'll dramatically improve the value and appeal. Well, we're back at a landscape renovation in Clarkston. This is a renovation that we started just a couple of days ago. Had large plant beds that were just completely overgrown. So we pulled almost everything out of this job. Trees, overgrown shrubs and bushes, and uh, we started fresh. I did keep this beautiful dogwood tree in this courtyard area. Then I kept this beautiful spruce in the front. Now, the coloration that you see out here is fresh topsoil and seed. What we did was shrink the size of the plant beds there because they were just too large and too much to maintain. So we shrunk the beds redesign things with balance and as we look at some of the choices here in the shaded area we have ferns those ferns are perennials they'll come back every year and multiply we have a mix of evergreens throughout we have a great mix of color here are some dwarf pygmy barberries these will stay small and add that beautiful crimson color accent there are pink flowering throughout the spring spirea up here, little princess spirea. Over here we have some boxwood, some dwarf burning bush. We have some red flowering astilbe, summertime flowering. And what we've done here is we've put a, a nice thick layer of dark hardwood mulch. And this will help the maintenance, help keep down the weeds. And what we do in, in every plant package, we add topsoil and peat moss. We fertilize with the, while we're planting, we fertilize each item. And then uh, as we're wrapping up here, we're just doing the final touches of this landscape renovation. Well, we're on the other side of this front entry landscape. And as you can see, we kept two choice trees. We kept this beautiful spruce and we kept this dogwood in the courtyard. Everything else was removed and we started fresh. We started fresh with a, a mix of evergreens. 
and new color and purple accents. Here we have a form of nine bark. These have beautiful pink, pink white flowers, purple in foliage. And uh, up here, I designed this with Mohican viburnum to get some height and privacy from the side entry garage. So that's why we chose a much larger upright shrub for this area. Now, as you can see, we've got a long walkway. So I wanted to have a theme that, that you felt that you're walking through the garden onto the way to the front entrance. So there's a great mix of color, great mix of height, year-round interest. And then uh, as we're wrapping up here, we're just doing the final touches of this landscape renovation.